name is Larry Reed, and I'm the host of Larry Reed Live, that airs long form show on Facebook and YouTube. I'll be up there for like an hour or two. Um, but I try to put clips over here on YouTube, and I may put this clip from YouTube, from, <coughs> from excuse me, from IG onto YouTube and Facebook and TikTok. Okay, this is what I want to talk to you about. Everywhere I turned this morning on my IG, I mean, almost everything in my news feed was about Will and Jada. Jada did an interview. It was posted with people, and now it's everywhere, that her and Will have not been together since 2016. Now, from 2016 all the way up until last year, we consistently heard the rumors of Jada and Will being in an open marriage and even rumors of them not being together or cheating on each other and things of that nature because Will would be with that woman. I can't think of her name. And then Jada and the August uh, little boy. Um, now, they're ready to tell the whole truth and she has shared it. Let me say this. Number one, I know some people are questioning their integrity because they're like, y'all said in response to the rumors that y'all are not divorced, but that was half the story. Yeah, you want divorce and that y'all still are married, but y'all really ain't together. Um, y'all say y'all were not in an open marriage, but you both clearly are for other people. Um, so you guys are liars. I understand that, and I get that. For me, a person like me, my personality, even before Larry Live, I tell too much. I'm horribly um, transparent. Um, I remember one time I had just got saved at 15, and me and Lisa, which is the mother of my children and my the only woman I've ever been married to, um, <clears throat> married to her for 18 years. we got two beautiful children that live here with me. Um, I was doing testimony and I had just got saved, but we were still fucking. That thing was hard to keep up out her puss. And I stood up to my... Oh, thank you, Jesus. God, I'm feeling this presence. I ain't nobody gonna feel this presence no more because me and Lisa been having sex. Mind you, Lisa's sitting three pews in front of me. <laughs> I always... So I, I was 15. I always told too much, just way too much. So for me, Will and Jada, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. It would be difficult for me to do. Um, I'm not going to say I won't be able to do it, but it would be difficult for me to do, as it is difficult for me to do now. What do you mean? Because it was like the last year or two, just talking to lawyers and, and working with in Hollywood, outside of beyond YouTube, I just realized that everything ain't everybody's business. And when people know everything about you, that doesn't still keep you from people making up stuff about you. So some things keep to yourself. That's difficult for me to do. Very difficult for me to do. Um, but I have learned to do it. Am I terribly transparent on these YouTube and Facebook and IG and TikTok streets? Yes. I'm even more transparent in Patreon. But I've learned to hold some stuff because of just how people are. People still going to make up stuff on you. You can't protect yourself from people telling lies on you, even if you're telling the truth. <clears throat> That's that. Second thing, um, you know, this job I do of providing commentary on what happens in other people's lives is very interesting. Because of that, you would think people run away from me because, oh, he's going to tell it on this platform. But anybody that know me know I can hold your secret for years and won't tell on you. Even if you make up a lie or tell something that's private between me and you, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to say that I will never because I may see at some point in time in the future I need to, but that's just not part of my character. Um, with that being said, Will and Jada are not the only people that are doing this. 
I can think of right now seven marriages. Seven marriages. Just type seven marriages in the chat. Make sure you you are getting this. Seven married people in the church and black Hollywood who are not married. In the sense of still legally married, but they are not in the same homes. Some of them are not in the same rooms. They're not sexually active, or they may here and there, but they are living total two total separate lives because they just ain't it no more for whatever the reason. And but they can't come out in the public and say, look, we are not married, but we still partner together in business, we still partner together as a place our children, we still partner together in life. We still go to events together. We still show up together. We still love each other and hold hands. But we are not together. Seven marriages. Your biggest in the church and your biggest in black Hollywood are not together. You know, Will and Jada represent an era that is going away. These people I'm telling you about represent an era that is going away. People just aren't comfortable lying about their truth anymore and people are not comfortable about hiding and keeping away from the light their truth when they are workers in the light or public pro have public profile people that era is going away what you're going to begin to see you're going to see and we already seen it people begin to define what and who they are Way different than what they have before. People who say we are married but live in two different states and may have partners but still have that one who is the main that they really are in love with but just other people for some other re reason and I don't know what it could be. But that's what we're going to start saying. The way marriages have been, the way relationships have been, it's just going to be totally different. Now, you still get to choose how you want to show up in your relationship. But you're probably going to be the exception to the rule in about 10 years. Because people are totally changing. Mebel says, Mebel Moore, how you doing? We love you. The world is falling apart. That's more important than someone's relationship status. I 100% agree with it. However, y'all do know that I can't talk on that the way I would talk on it because it's going to be said I'm being anti-Semitic. And that's not the kind of badge that you want on you as an artist or somebody in entertainment. Because what I have to say is probably totally different than what you would hear other people say. I will say this, though, and I'm going to get back to what I'm saying. I'm praying for Israel and Palestine. I'm going to say that. But anyway, getting to what I'm saying. No, so not the wife is the bottom bitch. No. It's like the the wife or the spouse or the husband is the main. Everybody else will be the, the bottom beast. Because if you listen to what Jada said, Jada is, is showing that they are both committed to their marriage and family or they have some kind of commitment to each other, probably because they've been together so darn long through their very important years of their life, they were together. So I can see them having a tie. My oldest daughter said something to me and her mom two days ago that was just like shocking. We normally hear online people say, why ain't y'all together? Why don't y'all be together? Because we have chemistry. We get along with each other. One of my um, partners was at the wedding. We was at Sunday. We didn't even notice this. I went to my car and pulled out the umbrella out the door because you know, I can't have the sun directly on me so long I break out. So I had the umbrella over me and then she came over there and I held it out so she can stay in the shade with me because it was out there at the wedding at the, with the sun was the way that it is. And I was holding, holding. Then after so long I wanted to eat so she held the umbrella for me while I was eating. And I didn't know somebody was watching this the whole time. And they texted me later. They said, it's just so amazing how y'all care for each other. And you take care of each other. 
And <clears throat> there are other things that, that I do. I let her tell it. And I said, hey, although we're not married no more, we were married for 18 years. We were together eight years prior to getting married. I know her whole family. She knows my whole family. When we think family, we think about each other. That is relationship. And I can see Will and Jada having that kind of connection between each other that they want to maintain. Now, who knows now whether or not they're going to stay legally married, but they're probably going to stay in each other's lives forever. Looking at them children, you can't help but see both of them. So they are, they're tied forever because of those, those children. And that's the same way with me and um, the mother of my children. But yo, you guys, it's way more than Jada and Will. When you see people that say they are married, I need for you not to think that they married the way that you would want to be married or what is traditional. It's, it's totally different now. People are going to begin to define, redefine what marriage is. They're going to define it according to what agreement they come to because that's what marriage is, the covenant, it's agreement. Whatever agreement they're going to come to in their marriage, they're going to come to that. And it may or may not fit your fancy or mine. That is the world that we're in. And let me say this as well. If you are not in the public eye, you do not know what it feels like. It is not. Yeah, you get the rewards of doing what you do well. But that comes with some con sequences. I mean, some sequences that are in pro, but they are con. It also comes with some repercussions. You know, why does she have to get on camera and talk about them being together since 2016? Because she's Jada Pickett and she's in, in the spotlight. Her husband slapped the whole taste out of Chris Rock, which she revealed in the interview that Chris Rock actually asked to date her, which... Once in Hollywood, it was circulating that they weren't together. And so, plus it's the mother of his children. So I said, well, why he slapped Chris Rock? If I'm sitting beside Lisa and you say something disrespectful to Lisa, especially joking about something that she, I know she feels very insecure about, her hair, the least I would do, I may not do that, but some variation of what Will did. He's a man. That makes sense. It doesn't make that fake. Well, I see some other folk online saying some other stuff. No. If, see, if you're not in that position, you don't know. You don't share how Will felt. Jada said, you know, I, oh my God, I can't believe he slept. Jada, I think, I'm going to tell you something about Jada. <clears throat> what I think. Because of her own trauma, which clearly at that red table she's been working through since for, for a long time. I think she can't really discern how somebody truly feels about her. I'm going to go on record saying this. I believe that Will Smith is terribly in love with Jada. That is what I believe. I fully believe that he is horribly... He has something for Jada that he can't kick up out of his heart. Not saying he ain't got nothing for nobody else. But when it comes to Jada, she has his heart. But I don't think Jada is able to discern it. And I don't think Jada can discern how any man feels about her deeply. It's more so what she feels about them, which in my opinion, probably fluctuates like the wind according to whatever day she had. That's what I think. I'm, that doesn't make Jada bad. It just makes her Jada. And some women are like that because of what they have the experience you know, when they were younger in relationships, maybe with their father in relationship, some lover, some ex-husband, spouse, boyfriend, however. And it has caused them to not be able to exude and accept emotionally, love, romantically. It, it fucks everything up. And that's what I think that Jada is walking through. Because mind you, she got all that, then the hair thing, you know, then her mom was on drugs. I think she got quite a bit. She got she got to work through. I think Will is in love with her. Because notice she said, I didn't know why he did something like that. I bet Will is like, bitch, what? <laughs> what? What you mean? 
You know, so there, there's something off in there. And then, you know, once they call, you remember when they, she called Will to the red table to discuss Augustina? Will protected her then. And, and to me, she says some stuff that no other man should have been able to hear you say to your man. It just, it just, that. So I think Jada is is the one that's working through some stuff, and clearly she's the one that like to talk to in front of the cameras and stuff. That's what Larry think. But you need to know that Will and Jada are not the only people that are living their life like this. I know one hundred percent for sure. Seven big in Hollywood and in the black church that are doing the same thing that you'll never know anything about. All right, I am complete. Thank you for sticking around, listening to me.